my god! <laughs> okay, 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 that's, that's, that's enough now. Chill out, chill out, chill out. What's up guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. We've got a fresh tune today! Just been over to Nottingham this morning because I'm doing the Alpha Leap shoot tomorrow with Callum, so stay tuned for that. I don't know whether that'll be live before this or after this, but it will be live very soon, or it could already be live. Anyway, we are going to be doing a much anticipated, much requested full day of eating today. Okay, I've got the day off. I could just been to get my hair cut in the morning. We're going to start off with some breakfast. We're going to start off with some oats. Okay, this is pretty much my go to whether it's in a, a kind of on the go pot or you know, at home, I have oats the majority of the time in the morning. Generally speaking, I have three meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner, maybe a couple of snacks in between. But I do actually prefer to eat less often and larger meals, uh, generally speaking, but it can vary. So um, I'm kind of just going to make it up as I go along and then I'll track it on my fitness pal and show you all the macros and all that kind of stuff. So! <laughs> Drop this video a like. Shouldn't they, Jesse? Hey, I'll tell you what, come here, Jess. Tell them that they need to, they, they need to drop the video a like, otherwise, no squeaky ball for me. Say, so drop the video a like, or no squeaky ball. <laughs> Watch this, she's gone really good at catching, you know. Ready? Good girl, oh my days, that is hurting me even my ears. So, to start off, we have this little tub here. Um, it's filled with oats. They are literally just oats from Sainsbury's. Um, and so if I open up my fitness pal, I always have 60 grams, whether I'm bulking or cutting. I mean, sometimes I have more, sometimes I have less, but generally speaking, I have 60 grams. So if I just open up my fitness pal, click on food, breakfast, because that is what I'm having, I will click on the search for food and type in oats. And there it is at the top, Scottish porridge oats from Sainsbury's, 60 grams. And as you can see in that there is 36 grams of carbs, 4.2 fat and 6.2 protein. Liam, you need a good kick of protein in the morning. Fear not. Here we have some impact whey protein from my protein. Discount code links and all that stuff in the description box. Is this, is this a bit bright? I'll tell you what, let me bring you down here so you can actually see. So set the scales off to zero, weigh in, 60 grams, I can pretty much do it by eye to be honest now. See like that's 58 grams there. Couple more grams in, 60, boom. Once you, you guys saw how quick that was, right? If you, if you do this every day, you kind of weigh it out from the same tub, you use the same scales, everything like that. You can weigh out 60 grams very, very quickly. And um, probably once you get used to it, do it, you can do it by eye, but I do still measure it every day. I think that's probably why I'm so good at measuring the porridge. I can do the same with pasta as well, even though I hardly ever eat pasta anymore. But anyway, everybody always asks me how I get my oats so fluffy and, and good and runny and stuff. So I use boiling water straight off the bat. This is a hot water tap, a boiling tap that we have in the kitchen. And with the 60 grams, I fill it up with boiling water up to around about 380, 400, right? And so that should be about right, 381. Boom. See what I mean? I can eyeball it, you know? From there, you want to stick it straight on the hob on high heat for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds at most, because it will get it bubbling, it will get it cooking, it will just basically get it going for about 30 seconds. Once that 30 seconds is done and it starts bubbling away like so, turn your stove, your hob down and start to stir continuously. Give it some tender loving care, give it some TLC and turn it right down to like a third or a half of, of its maximum power. That initial burst of heat is what kind of heats it up, gets it going, but then for the rest of it, you really give it time. Then you spend like 10 minutes on really low heat and it really sucks up all the water because I use more water than what it says, but if you give it time to cook and absorb, you will have more oats for the same exact same amount of calories because you're mixing it with water. I know people mix it with almond milk and all this kind of stuff, but I actually prefer water and then stick a nice tasting protein in there and jobs are good in, right? Once your porridge looks a little bit like this, it starts to thicken up just a tad. I mean, if you like it runnier, then do it before that. But what we're going to do now is add the Impact Whey Protein in the chocolate caramel flavor. We actually left the salted caramel flavor um, on the job with the old man. So click on add food like so. 
And just to show you how you can add this with every single item, whether it's some veg, whether it's a ready meal or whatever, you can click on the barcode and it will come up. Hey, there we are, hello. Scan your item like so. As you can see, one serving is 25 grams, which is one scoop. We're gonna go for a scoop and a half, so change that to one and a half servings like so. Boom, jobs are good in. 372 calorie, high volume breakfast. You guys know this next step is all in the wrist. You stir and then you flip. You stir and then you flip. Stir and flip. And then you go for it. Grab your bowl. Pour. And boom, you can have a humongous bowl of lovely porridge flavored to your choice for less than 400 calories if you cook it right and get the volumes right and everything. So, anyone who knows me knows that I'll wash this down, especially when bulking, with a glass of OJ. Now, this is around about 250 mil glass, um, and so I always just kind of count it as 250 mil, but for the, for the sake of today's video, we are gonna be measuring it like so. Okay, so change the thing to milliliters, set it at zero, and that is a full glass like so. 241, like I say, 250, I'm just gonna round it up, you know, there's no harm in that really. And this lovely treat here will set me back. 108 calories, 22 grams of carbs, no fat, and a whopping two grams of protein. 8% protein in that, people. Whew. It is worth noting, guys, that sometimes on top of my porridge, I add this my protein protein spread right here. Macros on it are pretty decent, uh, and it's pretty decent price as well. Not today, however, macros are pretty good on it, um, and so sometimes I add it, but today we are just going for a couple of shakes of the old pink salt. Oh. Hey, speaking of my protein, that is my order. Come in. You know those clothes that I was going to um, get? In a medium, well, the, the lady's here and she's probably thinking, my God, this guy's got another My Protein package. Hiya. Hiya. Hello, let's do weights. A lot, <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, never mind. It's not, um, it's not My Protein. It's Jessie's food. <laughs> it's Jessie's breakfast. Oh, do I need to give Jessie a breakfast? No, mum and dad did it. I officially start prep today. I know it's crazy. I know it came out of nowhere. But hey, raggedy. <laughs> I'm gonna let that meal digest for a little bit. Um, I'm, I was gonna have this banana as well, but to be honest, I'm kind of full. I don't know why, I'm, I'm just kind of full. So I'm probably gonna have this mid, mid workout. Um, I, I like doing that sometimes, just a little kind of pick me up. You know, I used to do it when I played tennis. Sometimes when I play rugby, it gets to half time, I'd have a banana, something like that. You know, it's just something that I've always done throughout my sporting career and uh, something I implement into the gym every now and then. So I'm gonna let this go down, do a bit of work, and then we'll train. <laughs> Okay, session uh, went on a little bit longer. We had to make a little bit of a pit stop because we actually had to film the Alphalete video, which you guys will have already seen. So I hope you enjoyed it. Drop this video a like if you enjoyed it too, because you know, algorithm and that. So, dinner time, well, lunch time. I have not had this meal for a long, long, long time. Especially on the channel. Some of you guys will know what's coming. Some of you are new here and won't. Allow me to introduce you to the LSJ special. The student special. This is literally like as budget as you can freaking get a meal. Packet rice, tin of beans, and a tin of tuna. I might actually have two tins of tuna because I'm hungry after that session. It is exactly what it says on the tin, except today I'm gonna to be having half of this packet of rice, 
Two tins of this tuna, drained is like 100 grams, and so I'm having 200 grams serving, uh, which is gonna give me near on 50 grams of protein. Post-workout kick, and half of this tin of beans. So in total, this meal will consist of 508 calories, 56 grams of carbs, three grams of fat, and 60 grams of protein. That is not too bad going, if you ask me. What a beautiful sight. However, this is a very controversial meal. I don't heat the beans up. Where I used to work, this used to make so many people physically, genuinely angry that I didn't heat the beans up. They, they used to just really let it bother them. I, did, I never knew why. And then it just became a thing. With this meal, I am team cold beans. Our fleet launch video has just gone live. It is not quite dinner time, and so I need a bigger shelf, by the way. Look at this lot. I am gonna have, uh, do I go for the cookies and cream? No, I'll go for a chocolate sundae. One chocolate sundae, my protein layered bar. 20 grams of protein in this. It's not quite dinner time. So I'm gonna chow down on one of these before it is. The replacement box of the mediums uh, that I thought actually came earlier on in the video, they've actually arrived now. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm not gonna do a massive haul because that would just be haul overload. Alpha Elite one, we've had a MyProtein one and we're probably gonna have another MyProtein one in a couple of weeks because that's like, you know, that's my thing. That's what I have to do for them. Anyway, inside we have, what are these? Here's the joggers. We have, are these the shorts? We have the pink tee. We have the white tee, and we have, what is this? Oh, the hoodie, nice one. Okay, so you guys saw the stuff in the uh, haul video. Um, if you wanna see it in a bit more detail, go and check that video out. Um, and yeah, I'm hopefully gonna be shooting some of these things tomorrow as well, because two birds, one stone, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then maybe I can actually get on the My Protein page, that'd be nice. But um, yeah, I'm gonna shower up, and then we'll get some dinner. So for dinner we have one muscle food steak, there's two in a pack but we'll just save one for tomorrow and it has a barcode on it somewhere, there it is, you can literally scan it straight into um, MyFitnessPal, it is dead freaking simple. I've been fairly low on calories today, we've only hit about, uh, well with this meal, we're in and around the kind of 2000 mark, so when, when I'm in a situation like this, because obviously not every day is the exact same, I had the tuna rice and beans for lunch when you know I've been having wraps at dinner with, with the old man and stuff. Um, things vary, but generally speaking, I have oats in the morning and some form of chicken or steak or something like that in the evening. Um, it's lunch times that can kind of vary, and obviously today it just worked out that you know I didn't, ha I've not had that many calories, but I've kind of intentionally done that last couple of days as well because I'm going to bath this weekend with Charlotte. It is um, Valentine's Day, and so we're going to bath to kind of celebrate, you know, a night away and all this kind of stuff, and. I'm gonna drink and I'm gonna eat pizza and I'm gonna have cocktails and you know, I'm gonna indulge, shall we say. And so to keep the surplus smaller, reducing calories throughout the week a little bit to allow for a little bit more of excess and a little bit of spillover at the weekend. Plus when you bulk in, it's really no biggie. So for dinner we have one rump steak, which is around about 175 grams. We are having the rest of the half packet of rice. Yes, I'm reheating it again. I'm not gonna die, don't worry. To top that off, we also have some baby spinach. Um, I literally shove as much of that on as I possibly can, shrivel it up in the same pan as you actually just cook your steak in. And oh my God, it is perfecto. Very important to note that I'm not cooking with butter, I'm not cooking with oil, I'm cooking with Fry Light. This is olive oil flavoured cooking spray. So it is one calorie per spray, I usually use probably five or six sprays, maybe a few to get it started and then a couple more as you go along to kind of keep it glistened, you know. Um, but other than that, that's about it. People will be umming and ahhing about whether to do this themselves. Um, steak seasoning, uh, the entire thing, there's like 13 calories per teaspoon or something like that. I do not track this because there's no way I'm using friggin' tablespoon worth, and so it's like 20 calories at most. 
Um, this is the only thing though, it, it's worth noting, that's the only thing. If, if I have ketchup, I track ketchup. If I have mayo, I have mayo. Uh, I track the mayo, sorry, but steak seasoning, I, I just don't, I don't know why. Fajita seasoning the same, to be honest. I just account for, you know, anywhere up to 50 calories for it, but I, don't, I really don't use that much anyway, so. Perfect. And voila. Dinner is served. To top it off. Perfecto. So, that usually does me. Oh, that's hot, oh my god. He says it's hot and then proceeds to eat more. My mum actually bought these Jamie Oliver um, steak knives not too long ago, uh, and they're really freaking good. And it goes even better with the perfectly cooked steak. Check that, people. Check that out. The juice is literally dripping from it. Oh. You make a steak well, you do not need the butter. You just have to cook it. Perfect. And I've got that down to a T, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Washing it down with some Mojito Clear Whey Isolate. Sorry, I have to talk quietly because everybody's in bed. My daily vitamins are also going down at the same time. Fish oil, because I don't actually eat that much fish other than the tuna that you guys saw today. Um, glucosamine for the old joints and ooh. A to Z, multivitamin, all from my protein. Oh, I keep dropping them. Oh, I love a mojito before bed. Ton of calories left, and I was eyeing up one of these in the corner, so it is going down. Editing, and we are going to stick some Rob Lipset on too. And that will round off the day. So for the day, that will put me at 2,194 calories, 233 carbs, 36 fat, and 228 protein. That's a fairly high protein day for me, um, a fairly low fat day for me. Um, and actually, as of late, a couple hundred calories less than what I've been having on a daily basis. Um, and like I say, that was kind of for a reason. I went to Bath this past weekend. It's actually been a few days now since I filmed that last clip. Uh, and I indulged, as promised. Lots of cocktails, lots of drink. We actually had plenty of rosé, which is stacked full of calories as well. Um, but it was enjoyable. And we're coming towards the end of the bulk. So I'm just going to enjoy it while I can, you know, because although I follow a, a sustainable approach to, to dieting and all this kind of stuff, um, you know, I'm not just having things because I fancy it. I, I do with, withdraw slightly, you know, um, but there'll be plenty uh, more videos to come, uh, kind of diet focused, if you like. I don't really like to call it a diet because it doesn't really feel like one when when, when I eat like that anyway, because it's, it's very well balanced. But anyway, that is it. There are the macros. Any questions, stick them in the comment section down below. Could I have had more veg today? Yes. Could I have had less protein bars or snacks today? Yes, but then I have protein snacks when I, I fancy a chocolate bar or something like that, you know, and so it's a replacement to get a good kick of protein. I work with my protein, so why the hell not, right? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please drop it a like because you guys always request full day of eatings, so if this one does badly, I'm gonna be pissed, okay? So help me out, drop a like, let's hit 50. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Together we will grow. Plenty of good stuff coming. Let's get check video, alpha leak shoot video, all that kind of stuff. Some of them might already be live, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.